Ladies and gentlemen, getting you right into the action. Welcome to week four of ECAC action here. Or NBA 2K on board with Psychic. First shot there coming out of the pregame timeout adjust or the post tip timeout adjustments rather. Not going to go Psychic's way. Of playing down low with Zion there. Gonna get away with it. Of course, if you've been watching the ECAC action here for Psychic as he gets down low with Zion, it's been an interesting start to the season for Post. Not too much action on stream for our NBA 2K star here at Post University. But he's been having a good season here in week four, already up to two and one. After the unfortunate internet shenanigans in week one had him with an 0-1 start. Another shot out of Kristaps Porzingis for Hassan University. Interesting little quirk here. This is the third time in a row Psychic has faced off a Hassan University player. He's of course taken down the other two in week two and week three. The final Hassan U player standing, Bryce. Of course, Psychic looking to get the three-piece on Hudson University, the UAV online, of course, to get the three and one on the season and a defensive back and forth early on in this game is still just 2-0. Not complaining, though, if you're a post-Eagles fan, is of course 2-0 in Psychic's favor, looking to double that lead, the mismatch with Zion, to force some help, and I believe that's a three in the key, yep. Gonna go right back to Hudson University. Like in a bit of a character crisis. We saw him switch teams in the fall playoffs a little bit. In that brief glimpse of psychic gameplay we were able to see in game one, or in week one rather, last time we saw him on stream. He's using the Boston South Six teams. He's taken a liking to the New Orleans Pelicans. He's going to dare Hudson to take that shot with Chris Stops. This time it's pure. He's going to give Hudson the one point lead. But yeah, of course, we've had Psychic off stream. If we can't get some intel there. Oh, the drop step clearing the entire painted area. Nice post moves out of the big fella. Of course, long time post university NBA 2K watchers will know as us and getting the wide open jam there. That Psychic has a big man as his my player. If you saw any of the 3v3 action in the all semester the lob going upstairs to Zion. Nice play, a little highlight reel in the open court there. Speaking of open court, a window for Hudson University to score, but not quite able to capitalize. And yet again, Psychic just looking to clear the floor for Zion. One pass out, Brandon Ingram in the corner. A dangerous shooter to leave open, but Hudson University going to get away with it that time. Another wide open three, this time in transition. Hudson not able to get it to go. Psychic well aware with the big man moves. He's going to choose to pass out that time. Going to prove costly, going to be out of bounds. But yeah, of course, Psychic put in those big man moves to good work. We saw him use that drop step earlier to... Clear out Bryce in the post. Oh, and that cut to the basket. We've seen Psychic use that plenty this time on the receiving end of it. Hudson Yu going to take the 7-6 lead. Oh, now Peyton Pritchard on the much smaller Brandon Ingram. Going to force a mismatch. Psychic knows what to do when the defense is in rotation. Going to get the wide open three-pointer there. That's when the Psychic offense is at its best when Psychic's able to put the defense in rotation. Oh, Al Horford on that dreaded cut to the basket. Psychic yet again on the unfortunate end of that play. Psychic was aware of it, but he got there a little late and Bryce was able to capitalize all the same. Although, yeah, you were mentioning it before those Al Horford buckets, but Psychic knows exactly what to do if he's got that mismatch. He's going to get the ball moving into a decent shooter. And I believe Herb Jones 
on the corner there, but it's not to fall. Herb Jones, a really strong defender. A moving three-pointer for Al Horford. Not going to go, but 0.2 seconds left, and it's a foul. Transition take. Foul. You cannot be fouling players in the backcourt. Psychic with a chance to escape this quarter with the lead. But the one free throw not going to go their way. 0 0.7 seconds left, so maybe a little tip shot. Don't think it's going to fall. 100% <clears throat> smothered. Like it... Not able to escape the first quarter with the lead. We're all tied up at 9-9 here. I want a timeout. We are not going to be leaking any timeout adjustments, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me as we update. It's not week two. Been a whole long time. We've seen Psychic on stream, but not that long. An incredibly low scoring affair in the first quarter. Those do tend to happen here in the ECAC teams feeling each other out. How do they play defense? What do they like to run on offense? Both teams struggling to get much anything going. A lot of simple stuff going both teams' ways. Basic kick out passes. All Hudson cooking in transition. Another timeout. Psychic. Of course, every timeout going to give players on both teams a little bit of a stamina boost. Like, you're perhaps well aware of that. You want to keep your high flyers, Zion and Brandon Ingram. You don't want them to get that Gatorade symbol. Will be a game changer if you don't have the game-breaking athleticism coming out of Zion for Psychic here. And on board with Brandon Ingram, a point guard yet again. Herb Jones in the Herb Jones cut to the basket experience. We talked about it. Psychic knows how to run that kind of action. Executing it brilliantly there. And Hustle New, I'm amazed they're keeping Peyton Pritchard in at point guard. Psychic is hunting that little man in the corner of your screen down every single chance he gets. We're gonna choose to just be that much better on offense, it seems. It's a green release for Hustle New. Another pick and roll. Going upstairs for Zion, the reverse slam. Psychic with the highlight play. Yet again out of the pick and roll. Psychic putting on a show with the high flyer. The reach in foul. Not going to get the ball. Instead going to draw a whistle. First foul for Psychic here. Man, Peyton Pritchard still in the game. For Hassan Yu. Psychic lying in wait. He's not letting anybody cut to the basket on his watch. That's why he likes playing off ball. Prevents the CPU from getting caught from those simple actions. Five seconds remaining. Like he's got to batten down the hatches, but Hassan Yu able to get in the painted area. So dangerous once you're that close to the basket. Come up with a big stop and Psychic not able to do so there. Psychic has a smaller defender on him, but Drew Holiday... Much better defender than the smaller Peyton Pritchard that was on him earlier. Psychic just looking to go right at the mismatch. Nearly put it on Bryce's head. Hassan Yu going to get away. Out to a transition three and it's going to be green. And Psychic nearly had that one. The dunk not going their way. And Psychic, real simple basketball. One pass out to Trey Murphy, the third. The late contest going to be huge. Zion on the offensive board, tightly contested as well. Also knew all over both shots there for Post University. Psychic late contest, not going to be enough. Still counts as open too. Another green release out of Hustle New. Psychic struggling on offense and it allows Hustle New to get some simple offense themselves in the fast break. But a nice slam there. Well, the Jets of Hustle New don't let them run out in transition here. Psychic with a chance to set his defense. You see him playing that backline defender in the pick and roll. Bates the pass to the corner. Hustle New going to take it. The late contest going to force... Open shot. Oh, the spin move to get past Bryce in the post. Okay. You see that Gatorade symbol. Bryce thought he had it easy. Psychic still able to get it past him. Oh, the late contest. Al Horford going to be able to turn the corner. The 
Chase down block, not going to go Psychic's way. Still a five-point lead for Hassan Yu here. High ball screen, immediate foul. He's got some substitutions. Looks like Derek White coming in. Or Drew Holiday, a whole lot of high-quality defensive guards at Bryce's disposal. Oh, and unfortunately, the post pass. Not going Psychic's way. Another fast break run out. Or Hassan Yu, another wide open three pointer out of that pick and roll. The release. Not to be, and Psychic like getting away with that one. Another pick and roll, gonna find contact. Get Zion cooking, ball out to Jonas Valanciunas. A lot of solid three point shooters, but you see it there. B on Valanciunas, not gonna take the three pointer, just gonna look to go right over Jalen Brown, but he's not able to do so. Zion already gassed, and Bryce gonna take advantage the immediate blow by. But to the basket. Fortunately, the movement there from the CPU is certainly not what Psychic was looking for. Bringing it down to Zion down low. Very tough to stop that big fella. Once he's down there, and Bryce not able to do so that time. They can roll in the corner. A tough cover, especially Zion already gassed here in the second quarter. But he's able to contain Bryce for now. Remain in the painted area. He's able to bait a pass out there. I believe that was the CPU. I don't even think that was Psychic jumping on Zion, which cooks the whole play. Zion running in transition out of the pick and roll. That Gatorade symbol is certainly part of that dunk, but the release yet again not going Psychic's way out of bounds. So Psychic going to get the ball back. The final shot. Of the half for the Eagles. Uh, it might be lower actually. Psychic may be wanting a different camera angle here. And not the vantage point he wanted. But yeah it does look like Psychic is using. One of the lower camera angles here. Folks usually like to use it for my career. Since it helps. Focus on the individual players. And. Psychic able to focus on CJ McCollum here, who's been quiet so far. I don't believe he's even been in the game. Psychic subbing out the star guard. The last second shot out of Hassan Yu not going to fall. Yeah, a whole lot of new looks for Psychic here as we enter the second quarter in week four. Oh, hold up, ladies and gentlemen. Can't be letting those leak the secret codes, the, the, the launch codes to the Psychic attack. We do not need those going public. Psychic certainly... Seeing some things he's not happy about on the defensive end for his squad. He's probably, I had to guess, looking to help Zion. We already saw Bryce going right at the star forward for the Pelicans, who already has that dreaded Gatorade symbol. We just approached the second half. He's going to get a big stamina boost coming out of halftime. Psychic not looking to wait that long to get the adjustments. Oh, the snake out of the pick and roll. It's going to be room service. That is not the shooter Psychic wanted. C plus rating there. For Robinson Earl. Now Jason Tatum all the way to the basket. Plus a new offense has been really strong here so far. Oh, the floater alert gets locked, but a foul. Like it going to the line for two. First trip to the line here. Since that transition take foul. In the first quarter that did not go his way. A change of pace here. Still going to miss one though. He goes one for two. Like able to calm things down. That's what you want to see. Don't let the fast break. Get too crazy. Going to sit on the Chris Stapps three pointer. Wise decision there is it's not to fall. Now more high pick and roll. But no contact whatsoever. The late foul going to be too little, too late, and one for Psychic. Well, the free throw not even close. Incredibly early for Psychic there. Like going to be able to corral the rebound. Ball out to CJ McCollum, but Larry Nance Jr., one of those players with an abnormal free throw routine. Psychic able to thread the needle once again. A kickout pass to Robinson Earl. This one not good. Psychic on the offensive boards. A 
Another cut to the basket for Larry Nance. Yet again, no good. The offensive rebound gets put through. Third time's the charm there for Psychic and Post University. It's a three-point game. That Larry Nance, CJ McCollum, bench mob. Doing work, but a deep three-pointer out of Hassan Yu. Looking to run a similar strategy. A lot of substitutions, but they're keeping Jason Tatum in the game. Oh, and a late contest for Hassan Yu. Oh, maybe not. Perfectly. Able-bodied contest. 100% smothered on that shot. Psychic getting the offensive board, but gets his pocket picked in the post. Another fast break. Psychic able to bait. The pass buys some time for his defense to crystallize, but the pick and roll still so deadly. Another green release for Hassan Yu. The one possession game not a minute ago. Now they're down by nine. EJ Liddell for three. And it's good. Make it a six point game. Want to keep it competitive as we enter the fourth quarter. One, two possession game. Don't want to let it get too much further out of hand. Another three out of Drew Holiday. And it is pure. Psychic is familiar with Drew Holiday's game using the Bucks. All of last season when Drew Holiday was still on the roster. Another kick out three pointer to I believe Liddell there. And it's pure. Oh no, Earl Robinson, I believe, in the corner. Like it going bar for bar from three point land. Rice just going to get all the way to the cup for two. And a full court press coming out for Bryce. And Hassan University going to dare Marshall to shoot it. You see that A- minus in the top right corner of your screen, folks. That's the kind of player Psychic wants to get the ball to in the corner. Psychic hasn't always had the perfect three-point shooter. On the strong side corner this game. But that time he's able to get it. And speaking of turning the corner. That kick able to bait the kick out pass there. Four seconds left. Going to need a miracle for Hassan Yu. A pair of pump fakes. Not going to do it. Boston. And I believe that's. Oh only a personal. Second. Might have been a transition take. But Hassan Yu had some. <clears throat> players already on defense. So not to be. You can have players already on defense. Hassan Yu bringing the starters back already. You see. Whole nine yards, Chris Stapps and the crew. The help comes early on Larry Nance. It's going to leave Robinson Earl wide open. Only a C-plus level shooter. I believe that's like high 70s, low 80s on the specific rating side of things. But Psychic's had plenty of shots with Robinson Earl so far this game. He's getting some reps in. And that outlet pass, not what Psychic cooked up. His chance to tie the game or at least bring it within one. Not to be that time. Going to need a defensive stop for his next chance. Like bring an extra help out of the pick and roll. Hudson University not going to take the bait that time. Bryce going right at the rack for the slam. Now letting CJ McCollum cook. Don't want to do that if you're... Hassan, you psychic going to make him pay from downtown. Still a one possession game. Both teams going bar for bar on offense. And again, bringing help into the pick and roll. The kickout pass comes. Oh, and I believe that was Psychic jumping that time. It's going to leave Chris Stapps open on the right wing. And their three is good. 2.5 seconds. You see Psychic moving up early. He may just get it. Moving three pointer. Still going to fall. Both teams firing on all cylinders as we enter the fourth quarter, folks. Psychic down two. But an absolute shootout coming out of the third. 46 to 44. Hassan Yu ball. I believe to start the fourth quarter. A banger of a fourth quarter coming in. If both teams can keep up this frenetic pace. Hardly any sort of defense being played in that third quarter. Both teams just making and taking shots. Help on the pick and roll. So New hasn't been able to crack it yet. Bringing in that extra defender from the wing. An extra option. Psychic going to jump early. Amazing recovery there to shut down the layup. Brandon Ingram on the fast break. 
Pretty good post player, but surely you bring it to your star. Forward down low, Bryce. Able to shut it down, able to thread the needle on that pass, and Psychic gonna handle the rest. Bryce trying to hide the smaller Peyton Pritchard number 11 on your screen there. Psychic able to find him on the pick and roll, or on the cuts of the basket rather. Another jump from Psychic, I believe that time. That was from Psychic. Respecting Bryce's ability to shoot with Chris Stapps. He's been burning him all game with him. Now the step back. Going to bring it out to Herb Jones. That's a man you want shooting the basketball. If you're psychic. But certainly not tightly contested as it was that time. 10 seconds remaining. Center on center action. No, we're bringing it to Trey Murphy. The third psychic going to sky over the defense. And Hassan you needs a timeout. Going into the BRB screen, but Psychic tying up the game with an emphatic jam. All teams shooting a whole lot of three-pointers, but Psychic did not need to go outside to tie up that game. All teams cooking on offense. 60 and 57% from the field, respectively, for both these squads. Uh, certainly more defensive adjustments coming out out of that timeout. For both squads, where is Psyche going to send the help out in the pick and roll? He's not going to be able to get it in time. Can't bring the help from the wing if you run the pick and roll on the opposite sideline. It's just too far away and Psyche going to get burned that time for it. Oh, the pass makes it. But it gets tipped out. Hussein Yu on the fast break now. Like it looks set. Defense looks pretty solid here. Going to survive the fast break attack for Hassan Yu that's been so strong. Going to dare Derek White to shoot as well and get burned for it. Back up to a five point game with three to left to play. Like a nice quick behind the back dribble and he's got the height advantage. No help going to come so he's going to kick it out. Try to find the advantage elsewhere. The ball nearly stolen. Like it's going to get away with it there now. Zion. In the post, one on one against Bryce, and Bryce gonna come out on top there. Chance to make it a three possession game on this trip down the floor, not gonna be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that, ladies and gentlemen? No more defensive adjustments. Can't have that being leaked. Not gonna happen on this stream, ladies and gentlemen. But again, both players certainly not happy. About the defense being played in this game again, 60 and 57% respectively coming out of that last timeout. Out of both of these players, they are shooting, shooting, and Psychic certainly seeing something he's not happy with. Just about 2.30 left to play here. We'll be right back. Both players get in the weeds. They call a timeout after that pause. We'll be back after a quick break. Okay, perhaps too quick of a break. We're, all, we're already back, ladies and gentlemen. Might have just called the timeout for that extra stamina boost. Now an off-ball play coming out of the timeout. What is Psychic cooking? We've seen him run these actions before, back when he was on Milwaukee. Herb Jones going to be able to get a paint touch, a pair of perimeter passes, and Zion going to shoot the three ball. But a C-level shooter, that's mid-70s if I recall correctly. Fortunate that he was the one to take that shot. Wasn't Herb Jones, we mentioned him earlier, that A-plus or A-minus, I believe, level shooter. Fortunate positioning on the one who would take that three-pointer, and Husson just going to stick with the two going right at the rack. Dangerous pass there, but it works. And Psychic knows he's got to move and quickly. A minute 55 left to play. He's going to be able to get the paint touch. No foul there, surprisingly. It's a five-point game. Listen, you trying to go just as fast. Shut down this comeback before it can even begin. But Psychic able to survive the attack. And now an Al Horford three-pointer. The first of the game for that player out of Bryce. And... Not to be psychic with a chance to make it a one possession game on this trip. Down the floor and it's picked off. Another pocket getting picked in the post. Another fast break. Psychic yet again going to bait the pass on the fast break. But the kick out 
So deadly, an eight-point game now for Post University. Down eight, trying to get it to Psychic. The roll, not quite what he needed to get right at the basket. And another pass picked out, this time on the kickout pass. I'll send you any points on this possession will surely be the dagger. Will it be a deep three-pointer? Not to be. Signs of life for Psychic here, but he has got to go quickly. Little crossover from Trey Murphy, the third, an errant pass. Coming out of those My Park moves, and now Psychic trying to go right through the defense. He's going to be able to do just that, but it's a six-point game. Need an immediate stop here. Sort of error. That's going to do it. All of a sudden, you're going to cough up the ball. Psychic yet again, right to the basket. The jump out of the guard. The ball going to Herb Jones, the pump fake on the A-plus shooter, and that ball's picked off. Now Hassan Yu, some hesitation in the painted area. He's trying to find a three-pointer, and he's going to hit it. Man, devastation in the final minute for Post University. Back and forth there. Psychic had his chances, but he did. I don't think he wanted to risk a three-pointer. Potentially going awry. He wanted some quick, immediate points. Going to get some on the putback from Zion, but too little, too late in game one here. Lock gonna strike zero. Jason Tatum in the corner. One last three ball for the road out of Al Horford. Hassan Yu's gonna hit it on route to the 10 point victory in game one. And unfortunate from Psychic. I mean, a shootout to the very end, but Hassan Yu able to come up with some crucial stops, and their offense did not stop cooking in that fourth quarter. Fortunate there for Psychic. Hopefully going to show us some of the stats from the game. See if the field goal percentage cooled off a little bit for both of those squads. I assume so. But it doesn't seem we're going to get that definitive answer. Instead, we'll be right back to a brief break with the second match of this best of three, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Our usual post tip timeout shenanigans occurring. We are already past that. Psychic gonna win the opening tip, the pump fake, and the kick out pass. Hussin you. <clears throat> Excuse me, had eyes on both options, and now with three seconds left, Psychic's still able to make something out of nothing there. Oh, and you're entirely correct, G Man. My apologies. Gotta edit the score. Unfortunately, your post University Eagles are down 0 1. Psychic losing by 10 in game one to Hudson University. <clears throat> Psychic sticking to his gun, sticking with the Pelicans. And you sticking with the Boston Celtics here. But yeah, Psychic gonna have to battle back two games in a row to come out on top this week. Oh, nice move out of Brandon Ingram. I thought Psychic had the put back there. Still gonna get a little highlight on the slam. Nice start for Psychic. Both teams over that feeling out period. We saw them score, I believe it was 14 points combined in the first quarter of game one. Don't expect that sort of slow start here. In game two, the cut to the basket to Herb Jones gonna turn into mid-range money, but Psychic not able to cash out there. Price going the other way. And Bryce gonna go right at Zion. Psychic got an amazing contest, but just too close to the basket to put up much of a fight there if it's not a block. Now on the pick and roll, Brandon Ingram to Zion. EPU there fading out just a little bit, couldn't find the window. Get into the paint, the jump pass for Trey Murphy, the third, gonna go quickly to the basket for two. Pick and roll, gonna force Hassan baseline. They're able to operate out there, no problem. A green release for Bryce there. Pick and roll yet again, the hesitation move, but the help comes from the corner. Gonna be a Jonas Valanciunas three pointer. Not to be, but this Pelican squad is such a strong offensive rebounding unit, so many, especially the way Psychic has it configured. So many lanky players out there. The one second left, Psychic has no time to get all the way to the basket. Not going to have the chance to extend their lead. Still just a one point game for the Eagles. All out to Chris Stapps, who's been a sneaky problem for Psychic there. He's left him open a couple times and gotten burned. Love to see Psychic not jumping here. <clears throat> Excuse me, saving his jump at the last possible second, able to come up with the stop as a result. Oh, and unfortunately, yet again, he's been coughing up the ball a couple of times. Some unforced error running into the us and you defenders here. So I'm getting his pocket picked in some crucial moments down the stretch in game one. Time us and you trying to go downstairs, just gonna go right over the top. One risk of trying to stay grounded, but this time Psychic gonna be the one heading up to the attic with the slam. Corner three, Psychic getting out of that one unscathed. It's off the mark. Steal not gonna happen, and now Zion. One on one matchup, Psychic not able to get it to fall. Psychic unable to get the slam dunk he surely wanted there that we saw earlier from Jason Tatum. Pass to the corner. Psychic's aware. He's playing that help defender. <clears throat> Excuse me. The deep three. And Chris Stapp's not going to fall for Bryce. And yeah, it does seem... Been talking about it throughout game one. A whole lot of jumping going on on defense for Psychic. And the Pelicans, but it seems intentional because we're seeing the CPUs jump when Psychic is nowhere near controlling them. So that's an intentional adjustment for Psychic here on defense. Makes sense with how much he's playing the help defenders. Those jumps basically force the help to arrive immediately, forces Psychic to become part of the action. And now with one second left, a last second fade, and it's pure nylon. 
us and you gonna take their first lead of the ball game with just about a possession remaining the cut to the basket pass picked off like you're gonna need to play some big defense prevent this lead from getting out of hand but a top of the key three no good 10 seconds left to play like a, yet again another chance to escape the first quarter with the lead doesn't like the three-pointer one second remaining a tough layup not gonna fall and yet again psychic not holding the lead coming out of the first quarter rice holding a narrow one one point game as we enter the second Like handling the Kristaps Porzingis defense themselves. It's not like how the CPU had him in game one again. Kristaps was a problem, but that time Derek White gonna be able to get all the way to the cup as a result. Quick moves out of Psychic to break down the defense, and there's that mismatch he loves to cook with. Kind of absorb as much space before the help comes, make that wide open three pointer that much easier. It's going to net a green release for his efforts. Again, there's that help. Psychic able to bait the ball into the corner. He knows he's not going to go all in. Been able to force Bryce to make that kickout pass more often than not. Now five seconds remaining. The last second cut to the basket. Oh, the CPU help. Mere inches away from picking off that pass. Rice going to escape the possession with a two-point lead. Now the Zion pick and roll. Got to watch out upstairs. And that's why and one for Psychic and the Eagles. A chance to take the lead back in the second quarter. Want to see him look good at the free throw line. It's off the mark yet again. Zero percent. Psychic not in the lab on these free throw releases. Oh, but always in the lab on defense. He's going to read the pass on the fast break. Give it right back to Bryce on the outlet. Comedy of errors to start the second quarter. Off of that, after that highlight. Game still all tied up though. But to the basket, gotta find a way around Chris Stops and Bryce playing the off ball defender. Zion already gassed, gonna move the ball to Brandon. Ingram, Herb Jones, I believe, coming down for the slam. Might have been Earl Robinson, forgive me, number 25 rather than number 5. That time the small Peyton Pritchard gonna get all the way to the cup. And now get no contact on the pick and roll, but no problem. Still gonna get all the way to the hole for two. Bryce struggling with that Zion pick and roll. We haven't seen Psychic lean on it too much. Late contest there, but gonna be huge. 40%. Another fast break, another chance for Psychic to simplify that offense. A wide open corner three. Not a bad answer for that sort of test, but just a bit off the mark. That's going to pump fake, bring it right back down. A speed advantage for Hassan Yu here, the center on the point guard. Give up a three for Porzingis. Bryce has been laser focused on getting the 7 3. Big fella for the Celtics active in this game. Any chance he can get. Now a contest. A late jump, but the extra help going to be able to tip the kickout pass. Another steal for Bryce here. He's been getting, forcing so many turnovers. A jump from the CPU yet again. And Bryce this time not going to fall for the kickout pass shenanigans. He's going to go right at the rack for two. Psychic with some options going to choose to go over the top of the defense there on the lob. Love to see that there. He's been very careful for when he goes for the lob. Doesn't want to make it too obvious. Doesn't want Hassan Yu to start predicting that. Speaking of predicting, Psychic all over that jumper. Another fast break. Get it to Zion. He'll handle the rest as the Eagles take the lead. 
back and forth in the second quarter here. Another fast break chance. Bryce trying to go quickly after the made dunk. Eagles are able to slow them down, however. About a minute left to play. Kick out to Pritchard. Underrated shooter on this Celtic squad, but that three not going to fall. Now, no secrets about where Psychic's looking to go with the ball in Zion Williamson's hands. Not going to go over the top there. Bryce able to make him pay for it. The fast break. Post University pretty matched up. Pick and roll. Psychic all over it. And a tough layup for Bryce. Certainly not going to fall. They're all over the rebound. Psychic with the last shot of the quarter here. He's not going to look to overdo anything. Just go right at the mismatch. Don't got to over complexify any of this over complicate excuse me the basketball just go right at the rack gonna give the last shot of the quarter to bryce well three seconds left like he's got him in a straight jacket the sidestep three-pointer like it's all over it it's a three-point lead for the eagles going into halftime like it looking pretty good the turnovers Still some cause for concern. Bryce able to get a couple of them here. Still a very close game. Want to see Psychic take care of the ball more as we enter the second half. Of course, with the bench mob coming in, that Larry Nance, CJ McCollum duo. So strong. We saw Psychic use it to keep his offense afloat. Some My Park moves, that ball handling ability. Bryce going to look to do the same with Drew Holiday, mid-ranger. Out of Bryce there, not to fall. Now bring it to Larry Nance, the big man. On this bench mob and another slam dunk. Another high flyer on this Pelicans roster that Bryce needs to be aware of. A target for the air raid, that psychic... Has been running against Bryce, but this time it's Hassan Yu with a slam, nearly picking off the inbound pass. Like he's able to get into the half court. Bring it out to Earl Robinson, the pass out of the shot. Almost never a good option, but like it forced to pick his poison there, and it's a one point game. I cut to the basket, pretty contained, but. Much smaller defender in the post here on Liddell. Bring it out to Larry Nance. Solid three-point shooter and everybody can be a good three-point shooter in the corner. Especially with Psychic on the sticks. It's a green release. Now a two-possession game. He's still going to go one-on-one. -on -one. Gets a kick-out pass there. Pick and roll, trying to spring Peyton Pritchard loose. Not going to be able to do so. Their jump pass, not going to be a turnover. And the standing dunk going to do it. Like playing amazing defense there, but unfortunately gets Price able to get bailed out on the jump pass. It ends up working out. Time to mismatch Larry Nance. Psychic doing so well to spot those mismatches, try to take advantage of it. They get Larry Nance moving in in space, but Bryce able to bottle him up. One second left. Perfect release out of Robinson Earl there to avoid the shot clock violation. Nice play by Psychic to be aware of the time. Now the pick and roll pass to the three-point shooting Horford. Bryce not able to get it to go. A bit of a slow roll on the fast break, but it's because Psychic knows... Exactly where that hole in the defense is. He's bringing it back to Liddell. Has that height mismatch. Liddell going to be able to spring open for three. Three-pointer off the mark, but a pretty good possession out of Psychic there again. Able to recognize the soft spot in the defense. Don't fake this time. Psychic CPU teammates not going to fall for it. Fortunately, Psychic going to stay grounded on that mid-range shot. Going to give up a green release. Still a two-point lead. Oh, and CJ McCollum, the first shot out of him for Psychic. And it's pure nylon yet again for the star guard.
Rice just looking to go one on one, trying to break down the defense, buy some space for that dreaded cut to the basket. Zykic on the wrong side of the floor to help out there. And again, bring it to Liddell. He's the man with that mismatch plan. They can roll, force Bryce to really think about what CJ McCollum can do. Try to burn him with Liddell. He got passed to Larry Nance and more pure nylon for Psychic there. Hudson needs a timeout. You know, we'll go to the BRB screen. Not going to leak any strats here. Bryce this time not content. But his Celtic squad is running on defense here. If I'm Psychic, I wouldn't be afraid to maybe use a couple timeouts as we head into the fourth. Both teams have six at the moment. If you only enter the fourth quarter with three or four. So regardless of my number there, neither team going to be able to enter with all six. And whoa, what a slam, sneaky slam dunk. Out of Derek White for Bryce here. Still a two possession game. In Psychic's favor, out of the pick and roll. Bring it right to Larry Nance and yet again, losing the ball in the post. Another turnover for Psychic there. Ooh, triple threat action for Bryce without Horford up at the top of the key. Gonna make him a screener instead, bring him right into the action. Psychic all over Bryce here on defense. The last second shot, though, breaking free for just a moment. That's all Bryce needs. Two-point game. Psychic surely with the last shot of the quarter. A nice little step back yet again. We've seen that move work magic, but not that time. And no time left on the clock. That shot off the mark. Another close game as we enter the fourth quarter. This time, Psychic up to... Back and forth game, but anything possible when you enter the fourth quarter for both of these squads with how their substitutions work. Completely different lineup for both teams. We enter the final quarter of game two. Of course, if you're psychic, you want to come out on top with this one. One more L, and that'll do it for this week of ECAC action. Smooth behind the back, going to get all the way to the rack. And Herb Jones is the man you want shooting the rock if you're psychic. But that time, it's no good. Got to shut down the fast break, get in Jordan Walsh's airspace. Going to be able to do just that. Shut down the layup. Unfortunately, the offensive rebound going to go Bryce's way. Going to get a second chance. Five seconds remaining. Pick and roll going to spring Derek White free yet again right into Psychic's layer. Basic defense there by Psychic. He's done so well baiting the kick out passes once Bryce beats that first defender. It's been such a huge... Edge to his defensive game plan. Oh, running into two. Not going to get picked off that time. That's a danger there for Psychic. Oh, Herb Jones three-pointer. Off the dribble. I don't know if that's the shot you want to look for with that much time on the shot clock. Oh, well, I believe in Psychic, his ability to shoot the rock. Fortunately, not going to get it to go that time. And Bryce wants to talk things over. Whatever adjustments he was running... Towards the end of the third quarter. Throw them out the window. He's got some new things in the works. Yes, both teams entering the fourth quarter with four timeouts. So still a lot of opportunities to give your team that little stamina boost if Psychic needs it. Psychic probably going to be the one to call that shot if necessary with that star player on your screen, Zion Williams. And he's the one to be at risk for that dreaded cup of Gatorade towards the end of games. I mean, it's like you're going to have to be aware of. And Zion, that point guard means he's got to be chasing Drew Holiday, and that's an illegal screen. I think with a chance to really calm their nerves at the beginning of this quarter, make it a two-possession game on offense here. The floor let Psychic Cook make this pick and roll real empty floor. Right into Brandon Ingram mid-ranges, but 
Kind of veers into some help defense there. Not a wide open release, just regular open. Very slight difference, but does impact being able to make that shot. And Psychic lying in wait, but it's not going to be enough. Bryce still able to go right over the top and tie up this game. Another pass out to Valanchunas. That could go in right in the post. A fader in the fourth quarter, not going to go their way. And Bryce going to take the lead in the fourth. Psychic offense sputtering here to start the quarter. And the ball to Zion, but he's got to deal with 7-3 Chris Stapps. We've been mentioning him on offense. Going to be a problem for Psychic on defense. And surely a reach and foul there. Yes, it is. Psychic going to get the ball. Some more time on the clock here. Oh, and immediately picked off. Cornerback moves out of Bryce there to just jump the route. Giving up the pick six and a four-point lead for Bryce. Oh, they're going early on the pick and roll. Got Psychic some space. They create a Brandon Ingram three-pointer and signs of life in the fourth for Psychic. A big one. Keep this game in tow. Pair of crossovers, a pick and roll. Oh, and the jump out of Psychic. Rice has been getting burned, kicking the ball out after those paint touches this whole game, but not that time. Makes Psychic pay. He's all over the contest that time. A rough release and 11%. Rice may be a little too eager to get the fast break points, though. Ends up throwing it out of bounds. Trying to hit Drew Holiday, was already on, who was already at the opposite baseline. A tough pass to make, surely. Now the pick and roll, but Bryce has done such a good job of just going right under it and negating that advantage. Psychic, unfortunately, hasn't been able to find another wrinkle to the game. Out of that pick and roll, yeah, Herb Jones wide open, or Trey Murphy, rather. He's going to find him in the corner. And again, Trey Murphy and Jones, those are the ones you want to be able to get the ball to if you're looking for a wide open three-pointer and a wide open dunk. Going to be the response for Bryce after that play. Like able to create contact in the pick and roll. Able to get the ball to Zion as well. Thought it might have been picked off with the... Plus a new defender swarming. Still seven seconds left to Cook. And another reach in foul. Shot clock yet again. Going to get reset to 14. More time on the clock for the psychic attack. Don't want to see the ball get picked off again. Able to get it inbound safely. Trying to get the ball to Zion, who's running 100% smothered. Bryce not too far behind on that cut. Got to be weird. Don't want to get stuck in a two-possession game here. If you're Psychic, the paint touch. Psychic not going to go airborne this time. That'll force the kickout pass with five seconds remaining. Psychic still going to need to play some great defense. The last second three to Jalen Brown, and it's off the mark. Still a one possession game, and yet again, more cornerback moves out of Bryce, intercepting the pass in the backcourt. Like it's going to need another lifeline on defense. Like a yet again, forcing that kickout pass. Going to have to survive the Drew wrist stops, pick and roll, and two seconds remaining. I don't think there's any time for that shot. Last second surely affected the release. Psychic going to stay alive with what will surely be the last shot of the game here. Want it to be a perfect one if you're Psychic. Don't be afraid to take all 13 seconds you have left. Going to go into his post bag with Jonas Valanciunas. Not going to fall. Got to get Zion activated here. If you're Psychic, going to bring it in. But the late bobble, the last second shot is in. Tie game with 4.9 left to play. Hassan, you needs a timeout. Nearly bobbled on the catch, but still able to get the bucket down low. Big plays for Psychic there. Finally getting Zion activated in the fourth quarter. We get right into the game. Want to see a good defensive stand. Watch out the player with Bryce's name under him. Surely going to be a problem. Immediate step back mid-range and no good. We have OT to stay alive in the series. 
Like, it's not going to go down quietly. The clutch bucket to tie the game and the big stop on defense. We have overtime. It's a very short period. If I recall, it's one half of whatever the standard clock time is in your game of 2K. Of course, because players can adjust it in the ECAC rules. That makes it three minutes. So a very short extra period, but Bryce going to be the one to get that first possession of overtime. Because of the shortened session of overtime, you've got to be perfect right off the bat. It's going to be psychic to rack first on defense. The pick and roll want to get psychic. And Zion linked up early. Need to get Zion activated early. If you're psychic, he was struggling to get Zion in the game in the fourth quarter. Oh, and this time Bryce is going to be the one to cough up the ball on the baseline. Herb Jones coming down the floor. A little back and forth. Herb Jones and Zion. Not going to find anything on the fast break. All tied up. Oh, Herb Jones was nearly free there. But Psyche going to go right at the mismatch. Even if he misses, he gets a chance for a second and a third shot. And there it is finally. Third time's the charm for Psychic as he takes back the lead. that pick and roll are we gonna force the kick out pass drew holiday just gonna go over the top man a point guard on that celtics team don't expect those shorter players to get up like that and you see Huston university throwing the house at zion on the cut off ball help in spades gonna force a shot out of herb jones or psychic not to be this game all tied up ideally you give up a two don't feel too bad if you give up a paint touch Psychic has not been able to generate too many three balls here. So ideally, you don't give up something in the pick and roll here for a three-pointer. Four seconds left. You're content if it's a fader. One second remaining. The step, the sidestep three-pointer. Psychic's all over it. A minute left to play. Nice play there to take that extra dribble. Don't let the pocket get picked. Let the big fella run and one for Psychic. Biggest lead of the overtime period if he can make this free throw. And it falls. Psychic struggling at the free throw line all game. Gets it together when it matters most. Now yet again, clutch defense. Don't be afraid to give up a two-pointer. Watch out for that cut to the basket. It's been a sneaky part of Bryce's arsenal throughout this series. But not Psychic able to sniff it out there. And Jason Tatum on the run out. Bryce is going to hit it. Both players... Going bar for bar here. Oh, and Psychic getting free, but he runs right past Kristaps Porzingis, who's able to pick up the interception there. Don't want to go pick six. Don't want to give up a score here. And again, Psychic just bodying Bryce in the paint, but he's got Psychic on his back, so he's able to get the easy layup there. Like it's got to be good for points here. Final possession of the quarter. The cuts of the basket shut down. It's going to need another option with 10 seconds remaining. Go to Brandon Ingram and Zion. Your two best players. Room service. As we're all tied up. Hussin need another timeout. Back and forth. Neither team want to give up this OT victory. Or to BRB for just a moment. Can't be leaking the last second adjustments here. Another nail biter in the extra period. My goodness. And it seems Bryce going to take every bit of the time at time he'll have here. Get his offense absolutely perfect as we get out of the timeout. Yet again, Psychic going to need a clutch stop. Pull well, the ball out to Kristaps, who's been so dangerous, but that one's no good. Double overtime in game two. Running a bit of a marathon in the second game of this best of three. 
all tied up at the second OT or at the end of OT and we go to double overtime. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna jump the ball up yet again. And yet again, Bryce gonna come out on top. Tough to match the 7 3. Kristaps Porzingis at Bryce's disposal here. Gonna have to look to do so on the pick and roll. Not gonna concede a shot from Kristaps. Gonna let Jason Tatum shoot. And it's off the mark. Psychic on the fast break. Kick the ball out to Trey Murphy, the third, and the Trey ball is green. Three point lead. Overtime has been neck and neck. It would match the largest lead of the overtime period at three points. Another pick and roll. Not going to... Yeah, baiting the hesitation yet again. Bryce has not been attacking the basket in overtime. Yet again, falling for Psychic's tricks. The jump, but Psychic has help in the airspace. 71% contested. As a result, unfortunate error there for Bryce. Psychic primed to take advantage. And yet again, that mismatch... He does so well to attack off of. Two minutes remaining in oh, tough. Two Trying to get the pass through the trees there. The Zion in the paint. Not going to be able to do so. The pass going off of a player's head there. I believe it was Zion. Jason Tatum. Bryce able to calm the chaos there for the score. Their first of the overtime period. We're about halfway through. This time, Herb Jones on the pick and roll, and no one's there. The late jump. Still created a wide open shot, so good offense for Psychic there, especially netting the offensive rebound. Again, the Pelicans, such a strong offensive rebounding team, and big bodies like Zion Williamson down low there. Big part of why is the lead back up to three for Psychic and the Eagles. Psychic all over. The Chris Tapp's offense, no three-pointers here. He's content to give up a layup. Unfortunately, just going to do just that. Oh, a quick test of the defense. The immediate cut to the basket. Make sure Bryce isn't falling asleep with this extra long game we've got going on here. Pick and roll. Able to get some contact. The pass out of the layup. Going to get Zion turning the corner. Exactly what you want to see if you're psychic. Keeping that three-point lead intact. Three-point lead so important with the defense Psychic is playing. He's not looking to give up threes at all costs. I'm mean, it's Husson looking to read the mismatch. Psychic all over it. The pass still able to make it to Jalen Brown's hands. But the Psychic defensive stand. Is Husson going to kick out the ball? No, just going to go right over the top yet again. And the full court press is out. For Husson, you here. Psychic not able to get a run out out of the full court press. Just going to run that half court offense. Yet again, simplify the game. Get your two best players active. Throw it over the top, big man. Not going to go. Now, Husson with a chance to take the lead. The shot clock is off. Don't want to make it easy, but any points are going to do it here in Bryce. Yet again, the paint touch, but he's not kicking that one out. A back-breaking dunk. And Husson with a narrow one-point lead. We go into the no-league screen yet again. This time it's Psychic, the one who's going to need a miracle on offense. We get right back into the action. Gonna need Christmas in February. We're three seconds left to go. Oh, the early jump gonna leave some space, but the shot off the mark. And Psychic loses a nail biter in double overtime. Man, a rough loss for Psychic there. Both teams going back and forth the whole way. Need two extra periods to decide the victor. Unfortunately, it's gonna be. Bryce out of Hassan Yu. Psychic not able to get the three-piece. He beat two other players on the Hassan Yu roster. Bryce going to be the only one to say he escaped with a victory from our big man at Post University. Eesh, what a game, ladies and gentlemen. That'll just about wrap up the coverage for this week's action. Again, I've been sandwiched. Hope you all are having 
a great night. Hope y'all enjoyed the stream. Of course, we'll be back next week with more post university NBA 2K action. Be sending it up to the mainstream for some Overwatch. I'm not entirely sure if they have finished their match quite yet, to be honest, but we will send the whole squads up there. Y'all be able to check for us. Again, I've been Sandwich. We hope y'all have enjoyed a great stream tonight. Y'all take care.